The key component to smoothly starting your steel chainsaw is the spark plug. Unfortunately, this device is also to blame if your saw doesn't start. Sounds odd, doesn't it? You see, the plug has a center electrode and a ground electrode. If the distance between them is not accurate, the spark plug will not start the chainsaw. Rather, it will cause misfires. Hence, it is vital to ensure a precise spark plug gap. When it comes to chainsaws made by still, the optimal spark plug gap is 0.020 inch. In terms of the remaining chainsaws, the gap ranges between 0.020 to 0.030 inch. I will begin the video by explaining why spark plug gaps matter. I will also explain how to measure your still chainsaw gap and set it correctly. Let's kick things off. Chainsaw spark plug gap. What is it? Before I discuss the gap, let me explain the spark plug. It is a device located inside an internal combustion engine cylinder head. The item is designed to ignite the mixture of air and fuel. But how? The spark plug does so by creating an electrical spark in the combustion chamber, which ignites the fuel. It then lowers the pistons and eventually starts the engine. As for the spark plug gap, it defines how far apart the center electrode and ground electrode are on the spark plug. This gap is directly correlated with the efficiency of spark ignition. In other words, if the gap is too broad or too narrow, the engine can't run well or even won't start. An incorrect spark plug gap can also pose a fire hazard. When should spark plug gaps be checked? As long as your still chainsaw runs smoothly, the gap is set just right. However, there are some issues you will constantly encounter when the gap is incorrect. Let's take a look at those. When spark plug gaps be checked. 1. Engine won't start or has trouble starting. Whenever someone asks me why their saw won't start, I suggest checking the spark plug before anything else. It is sometimes necessary to replace the spark plug altogether. However, it may not always be the case. There are instances when the spark plug is fully functional, but the gap is causing the machine not to start. 2. Engine running rough or misfiring. If the spark plug gap is off, it may lead to a rough engine running or misfiring. This is because the spark is not strong enough to ignite the mixture there and fuel properly. 3. Engine having trouble reaching maximum power output. The wrong spark plug gap can also prevent your chainsaw from reaching its maximum power output. This can lead to slower cutting and reduced efficiency. 4. Constantly losing power. If your still chainsaw experience is a continuous loss of power, it is a good idea to check the spark plug gap. A properly adjusted gap can prevent this issue from occurring and ensure maximum run time. 5. Losing efficiency and fuel consumption. In addition to causing power loss, incorrect spark plug gaps can lead to decreased fuel efficiency. This means more frequent refueling and increased operating costs. 6. Engine overheating. It is crucial to understand that the combustion is never complete if the plug gap is improper. This may lead to overheating and even pre-ignition or detonation. If you want to avoid irreversible engine damage, ensure the overheating is under control as fast as possible. 7. Experiencing premature wear of spark plugs and engine components. Incorrect spark plug gaps can also cause excessive wear on the spark plug and other engine components, leading to the need for more frequent maintenance and potentially costly repairs. Leaving the spark plug gap faulty for a long period of time can cause damage to the engine and potentially lead to failure. Thus, it is crucial that the gap is regularly checked and adjusted as necessary. How to measure the spark plug gap on still chainsaws? If you have experienced any of the mentioned problems, your chainsaw spark plug gap is likely faulty. However, to fix the gap, you must figure out what the gap measures. Here's how to go about it. Step-by-step -step measuring spark plug gap on still chainsaws. Step 1. Insert the wire. Place the wire in the spark plug gap. Step 2. Checking the gap. When the wire is inserted, 
Observe carefully whether the gap is adjusted to the wire by 0.020 measurements. Step 3. Identifying the gap accuracy. If the gap and the wire match perfectly, your spark plug gap is accurate. Nevertheless, sometimes the wire will not fit into the gap due to a tight fit. The wires may also be slack and slip through the gaps. Both of these scenarios have to do with incorrect gap settings. How to adjust the spark plug gap on still chainsaws. In case you discover that the gap is wrong, you must adjust it accordingly. It is fairly easy to adjust the spark plug gap on still chainsaws. You will need a feeler gauge, which is available at most hardware and auto pot stores. Once you have it, proceed as follows. Adjust the spark plug gap on still chainsaws. Step by step. Step 1. Cleaning the plug. Remove the spark plug from the engine and clean it thoroughly with a wire brush to remove any debris or buildup. Step 2. Verifying the plug's functionality. Ensure that the spark plug is working. An easy way to do so is to use a spark plug tester. It gives you a quick overview of the device's condition. Step 3. Adjust the plug. Place the spark plug between the V-shaped edges of the feeler gauge and adjust it until you feel resistance. This resistance should indicate that the gap is set correctly. Step 4. Bending the electrode. If necessary, use pliers to gently bend either the center electrode or ground electrode to adjust the gap as needed until proper resistance is achieved. Be careful not to bend too much, as spark plugs can become damaged in this way. Step 5. Reconnect the spark plug. Reinstall the spark plug and test the saw to ensure it is running smoothly. Depending on the still saw model, the method of checking and adjusting the gap may differ. Therefore, make sure you read the owner's manual carefully. In case you aren't sure what the right gaps for still chainsaws are, move on to the next part. Still chainsaw spark plug chart. Wouldn't it be great if you could find the correct gap from one still spark plug gap chart? This is precisely why I compiled a chart showing the proper gap for every still chainsaw. The table not only informs you of the gap, but also what spark plug still saws use. I have included some of the most popular still saws with their correct spark plug gaps on this chart. Quick tips on setting the spark plug gap. Tips 1. The market is full of tools for setting spark plug gaps. Choose whichever is cheap and convenient for you. However, if you are new to these tools, you should use either wire looms or feeler gauges. Tips 2. As a beginner, you should pay special attention to the spark plug adjustment. Remember that even the smallest gaps can significantly impact inexpensive saws. Tips 3. While adjusting the gap, Make sure the spark plug is not loose. It should always be held by strong support. Tips 4. In the event that the gap is too small, you can simply adjust it with a hammer. This method is only applicable to those who are not beginners. First timers may damage the electrodes if they use the hammer improperly. Tips 5. To enhance the gap, I always recommend the use of wire looms or similar wire style tools. The process is more complicated with coin-style tools, and the results are only somewhat reliable. Moreover, a coin-style tool sometimes breaks the spark plug tips. You can no longer use the product with a broken tip. The dangers of excessively gapped spark plugs. Your chainsaw could suffer from a number of major problems if the spark plug gap is too large. Let's see some of them. Excessively gapped spark plugs. One. Startup failure. The spark plug may not fire properly, preventing the engine from starting. Even when you somehow manage to start it, the saw may not operate smoothly. 2. Ignition damage. Excessive gaps can also cause misfires and potential damage to the ignition system. It can amplify vibrations when you use the power tool. 3. Quick wear and tear. An overly wide gap damages the spark plug due to too much voltage being applied. Moreover, the gap may also cause the spark to jump from the electrode to the side of the spark plug, causing damage or erosion. Both of these will result in the plug wearing out much faster than it should. 
4. Increased emissions and poor fuel economy. The engine can also consume more fuel and emit more emissions when the gaps are too wide. Having to deal with these issues can be costly and damaging to the environment. 5. Unsatisfactory performance. If the spark plug gap is too great, the spark weakens or misfires. This can lead to engine performance issues, such as reduced power output. I have already stated that a chainsaw should not have a wide spark plug gap. Conversely, the gap should not be too narrow either. Here's why. If spark plug gap is too small, what will happen? 1. Misfire. The short gap will cause the cylinder to misfire frequently. As a result, you will constantly hear popping and knocking sounds. 2. Weak spark. A narrow spark plug gap is likely to produce a weak spark. Thus, the spark will not be strong enough to ignite your chainsaw. 3. Rough idle. Sometimes a chainsaw won't stop spinning or creeping forward. The saw may behave like this even when it is not in use, which is quite surprising. The primary culprit for this rough idle is a small plug gap, which spark plugs work best with still chainsaws. When your still saw fails to operate despite adjusting the gap, it is probably time to replace the spark plug. You should never install a random spark plug since still chainsaws perform best with Bosch and Dingy K spark plugs. Here are two of the finest spark plugs with their features from these reputable brands. Bosch 7547WSR6F spark plug, double platinum surfaces for extended life, yttrium enhanced ground electrodes for increased durability and performance, nickel alloy center electrode for improved corrosion resistance and spark energy, NGK 6703BPMR7A spark plug, nickel center electrode for improved corrosion resistance and spark energy, solid copper core for better heat transfer and spark energy, trivalent metal plating for improved anti-seizing and corrosion resistance. Setting the correct spark plug gap on your steel chainsaw ensures proper engine performance and prevents misfires. When in doubt, consult your user's manual to determine the specific gap width and make use of the appropriate tools, such as wire looms or feeler gauges. Also, don't forget to change your spark plug every season or every hundred hours of operation, and never use your favorite still saw with improperly gapped spark plugs. Following these guidelines will keep your chainsaw running like a charm. Happy sewing!